Do you have a story that starts off slow but picks up later? Do you feel like because your story doesn't start with a bang, you'll lose readers? Or do you feel your story needs a decent amount of setup before it will really get going? If so, this is the video for you. I'm Poseidon. Welcome to Pantheon Talks. Opening with a slower story can be risky. Regardless of the genre, a slower comic can be bad. However, the success of a slow comic ultimately depends on the setup in the beginning. A lot of things can go wrong with a story's beginning, and one of the most common problems is that it's just boring. Instead of grabbing and hooking the readers, some slow openers develop unnecessary information which has no relevance to the main plot at the time. This may lead to the true story starting around episode 5, 10, or later. And even if the comic picks up and it really starts moving forward, the damage is already done, which means that those who were turned off by the slow beginning may not come back and just abandon the series altogether. Therefore, within the first episode, it is a good idea to have some form of hook that will intrigue the reader to keep them coming back each week. This does not have to be something flashy or extremely over the top, but it needs to be interesting. We want them to begin anticipating something awesome or epic, and we do this by setting up a premise or goal that offers a grand climax. That way, our reader will be interested to a reasonable degree in continuing the story and slowly gaining knowledge as they embark on this wild and crazy journey with our main characters. Now, if you do have a slow story already developed, let's focus on a few areas that will help to improve the reader experience. Here are five ways to improve the beginning of your story, and these may be difficult for some of us. Cut scenes. Set up a compelling plot. Evoke emotions. Create an interesting point of view. Add mystery. Let's start with cutting scenes. It's hard to cut scenes because everything we create feels like an important detail to us. However, that is the problem. It feels important to us, but sometimes not to the reader. Exposition, small details, and character quirks can be fun and bring us joy or seem logical. However, at the beginning of the story, the reader doesn't care. Which means if your story opens with info dumping or exposition, and it's not relevant to the moment in the story, cut it. And explain those points later when it's needed as the story goes on. Make sure the beginning scenes are important and build the foundation of the comic. In our opinion, 80% of the beginning needs to be relevant to the story or plot somehow. Next, make your plot compelling. In the beginning, focus on putting the reader's needs and preferences first while developing tension. Set up an interesting premise which makes the readers wonder things like, what is going to happen? How will this situation conclude? Will everything turn out okay? Figure out how to make your story meaningful and engaging to the readers. If the beginning does not set up any of this, then it most likely needs to be reconstructed or reworked. Next, evoke emotion. One of the most powerful skills we have as writers and artists is the ability to evoke emotions out of the reader. Creating characters that express deep emotion at the start of your story have a greater impact and are more memorable than a generic or passive character. So build up to intense emotions for greater impact. Make the reader feel the emotional state of your character and strive to create an opening in which the character feels an intense range of emotions. Remember, often the most relatable things in the story are the characters. And a key to making a character relatable in a fantastical world is the use of emotions. If we make a reader connect with our characters emotionally and the emotional tension is connected to the larger picture or plot of the story, then it's more likely that they will patiently wait for the story to kick into gear. Next, create an interesting point of view. One of the biggest traps when opening a story is an unbearably boring main character. Remember, the audience is living through your MC's point of view. A great point of view causes our readers in a sense to participate in the situation that they could have never been a part of, or in worst case, never want to be a part of. It gives the reader an opportunity to examine themselves, potentially asking questions like, would I have made the same choices as this character? I don't understand why this character did that. Have I ever behaved that way? An interesting point of view makes the reader engage emotionally and mentally. Lastly, add mystery. 
Now you might think I can skip this part because your story isn't a mystery, but mystery does not have to be a whodunit murder plot. Every story can have mystery, from a slice of life to action. It's how we use that mystery that's important. Set up something that does not fit into the world according to the main character's point of view. This could be a shadowy figure, another character, a prophecy, an object, etc. Now allow the audience and the MC to start piecing together the situation until it makes sense to everyone and the puzzle is solved. You don't have to draw a huge amount of attention to it, but don't try to obscure it either. Figuring out what's going on is part of the fun, and it's another hook for the audience, which gives a great deal of satisfaction. These were just a few ways to improve a slow opening and keep your readers engaged at the beginning of the story. Now go, put on your critical thinking cap, and be resolved to produce the best first few episodes for your reader. This does mean you will have to make adjustments and cuts. Remember, we want to hook our readers from episode one. Next, we will discuss, should you establish an art style for your webtoon? If you've enjoyed this video or learned something, please consider subscribing, leaving us a like and commenting down below which tips you plan on using or have already used to hook your readers. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you can be notified about our next upload. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts linked in the description. We are particularly active on Instagram, so if you want to chat with us, please stop by. We will catch you in the next video.